Hi everybody and welcome to Fab Tax. I'm Rosemary and thanks for stopping by. Today I have 12 more Dollar Tree Walmart DIY gift sets. And today's video will be focusing mostly for him. Or anyone who likes sports, wings, pizza, beer, barbecue, fixing things, movies, and cars. I would like to receive a gift like this, or this, or this, or this. Now, uh, about a week and a half ago, I released another video. Um, this one was 25 plus Dollar Tree Christmas gift sets. And most of these gift sets were either general appeal or more feminine appeal. So I did have multiple requests to uh, publish another video that would have uh, some options that were more masculine. And so um, that's what this video is today. Uh, I will not be going over the 10 pro tips. So if you did want to see those in more detail, please check out the first video if you didn't um, already. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. So this first one is a little $5 option for those who'd like to barbecue. So these little grill mates um, packets, one is a rub and the other is a marinade. They're only 99 cents at Walmart and I'm attaching them to a little paddle uh, cutting board that is from the Dollar Tree. And then the brown sugar seasoning that I'm uh, attaching to the middle is uh, from Walmart as well, and that was $1.88. So to wrap this set, I'll be using this shrink wrap bag from the Dollar Tree. This is the one that comes in the blue package. There's only one bag and it also has a bow. Now I'm not gonna use the whole bag. I'm just gonna cut a piece of the bag and um, then just measure it out and wrap it around and tape it to the back. It's folding over the edges like that and then also folding over um, the edges uh, on the top as well. And again, just taping to the back. To get more information and detail on the uh, wrapping options, please check out the first video um, where I go into those in a little more detail. After the shrink wrap has been taped to the back, I just take a regular hair dryer and begin to apply the heat to the shrink wrap. And as you see, it just shrinks around the set, uh, creating a nice professional finish. Also, um, as you can see, I am holding that top piece um, where it's not really adhered too well with tape. At the bottom, it is um, better secured with the tape. So I want to make sure I'm holding that piece. Otherwise, that shrink wrap will start pulling away. But um, then I just took some of this Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and then also a piece of this black and white um, striped ribbon from Michaels. And I'm just going to tie it around once, not a big deal, no bow or anything, just one um, little tie like that, and then take another piece of this other ribbon and um, tie that as well, just in a knot, and that will be the decoration, all the decoration I have. And you can see, um, this is something that I go over in the other video, but one of the biggest things is color coordination. So you can see that the items in the gift set are color coordinated, and then also the um, decoration is also color coordinated. And there you have it, a great little um, gift for the grill lover in your life coming in at around $5. Here's another option for the grill masters on your list. Um, this one I'm going to be using just a couple of foil pans from the Dollar Tree. They come in a two pack set, two for a dollar, and then some of the red Dollar Tree shred. Then I'm just going to take one of these flavor injectors and I'm going to just remove that top um, packaging just to give it a more professional look and then just add that injector right to the middle. And then to either side of the injector, I'm going to place these little grill mates marinade packets. Again, these were 98 cents at Walmart. I'm going to add uh, four different flavors. And then there you have another great little gift set. I'm going to put some double-sided tape on those just to hold everything in place. And another great little gift set. This one coming in at about $6. The next Grill Master gift is going to focus more on the tools. And so these were all purchased from the Dollar Tree, including these chopping mats and this grill topper. Um, then also the large grill spatula and the large grill fork. To that, I'm going to add a pair of these tongs and also a baster. 
And then the Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, which I actually purchased for 75 cents at Walmart on clearance. They just marked it down, so you might want to check that out. Then to finish off the set, I'm just going to add this little dish towel from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to start taping down all the components to the chopping mat behind. Um, I'm going to use both regular tape and some of the double-sided tape to secure those to the chopping mat behind it. Before wrapping the set in the shrink wrap, um, I just cut a piece of cardboard about the size of the uh, chopping boards uh, because the chopping boards are kind of uh, flimsy and um, I just needed something more rigid so that the shrink wrap wouldn't pull everything up. So now I'm just laying the bag on top and I'm kind of positioning the gift set to the lower left hand corner. And then I'm going to just measure and cut the bag down a little bit because it's too large for this gift set. Of them, uh, I'm opening the bag up and sliding the gift set inside and you'll see that on the um, left hand side the uh, seal from the bag is still intact so um, I don't need to tape it on that side but on the right hand side I will need to uh, flip the um, shrink wrap underneath and tape it down. Now again, before I start shrink wrapping, I want to make sure that I'm holding that top piece and I'm holding everything down and in place because again, that shrink wrap has a mind of its own once that heat starts. So you want to make sure that the top, you're holding the top that's not secured. The bottom is secured, but the top is not secured. So I need to make sure I'm holding that while the uh, I'm doing the bottom half that is secured um, so that it doesn't pull, that shrink wrap doesn't pull away. But I'll just use uh, the hair dryer again, set on high, and just go over the entire uh, gift set and the entire surface of the shrink wrap, moving things back around if they kind of get knocked out of place. Make sure that as you're doing this that everything is staying in place. And then um, I'll just continue up to the top. But then before continuing, I'm going to want to secure that bow to the top of the set. But before I do that, I actually have a problem here with this fork. Um, this was probably not the best idea to have this in this location because it's just going to uh, keep it popping out of the plastic. But to fix that, I number one wanted to make sure that the uh, I wrapped the uh, prongs there with some tape so that you know they weren't pointy and um, you know someone could get hurt on them uh, but then also to secure the uh, shrink wrap around them as well so I both wrapped the prongs with tape to get you know to take off the pointy edge and then wrap the plat the uh, shrink wrap with tape around that area as well to reinforce it. I then just attached the bow that came with the shrink wrap bag and um, now I'm going to go back and finish off the shrink wrap. Um, just again using the hair dryer to make everything nice and tight all around the top of the package. Then again I just wanted to reinforce around the prongs uh, making sure that it's both safe and also that it wouldn't tear. And then there you see the final project with the bow attached and all the shrink wrap completed. Now let's switch gears to some tool sets. For the first set, I'm taking two of the Dollar Tree screwdrivers, one Phillips and one uh, flathead, also their um, utility knife, and then the small screwdriver set. So the first thing I'm going to do is tape the two screwdrivers together, and then I'm going to use some double-sided tape to attach the utility knife and the screwdrivers, the small set of screwdrivers as well. Then I'm going to wrap the set in a piece of this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut it and then uh, tape it to the back. And then that's going to create a place that I can hook on my tape measure. 
For a larger tool gift set, I took this toolbox from the Dollar Tree, also in the yellow and uh, black colors, and then I just filled it with some of the yellow shred from the Dollar Tree. I then took uh, some tape and taped both sides of the lid so that they, I taped the top to the bottom so that it created like a little hinge on both sides. I then added my Phillips and my flathead screwdrivers, then the needle nose pliers, then the utility knife, then the set of small screwdrivers, and then the little sanding stone. Next I added some Dollar Tree work gloves that I stuffed with some tissue paper, and so I had stuffed the uh, first one and then kind of stuck it up in the back, stood it up in the back, and then the second one I'm going to just uh, roll around and place in the front. And then um, to that I'm going to add the little um, hex key set and then also the tape measurer. And then I'm going to double side tape everything in place. I'm going to do that all around to the other ones as well and then um, that is the final set. Next is a great little $5 set for uh, car items. These were purchased from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree carries these little uh, armor all uh, different things, whether it, I think one is uh, for glass cleaner, another one is a protectant, um, another one is like for your dashboard and that type of thing. And then to the side there, there's also a little, uh, in the little pen looking thing, that is an air freshener from Armor All. So then I just took these uh, microfiber towels. They come two to a set. I'm just going to be using the one and then I'm going to attach it there in the back and then just add the little air freshener scent and there's a great little five dollar gift um, for someone on your list. Here's a little five dollar uh, travel set. Uh, these are all items that I got from Walmart in their uh, trial size section. They're all a dollar. I started by taking the toothbrush and toothpaste out of the little uh, plastic pouch that they come in. I then took some double-sided tape and taped together the shaving cream, lint brush, and a body wash and shampoo bottle. I then took some regular tape and taped together the razor and the toothbrush. I then attached those to the little shampoo bottle uh, with some double-sided tape. And then I just added some shred to the little plastic pouch that the toothbrush and toothpaste came in. And now I'm going to put all my components back into the little pouch and add the toothpaste to the side. And then I can proceed to shrink wrap that the same way I shrink wrapped the uh, barbecue tool set. Here's a small gift for the football fan on your list. I got these football glasses from Dollar Tree and then um, the little treat bag from the Dollar Tree as well and then I'm going to just add some of these Snyder pretzel nuggets right inside it has a nice football color to the glass and then I'm going to just take the uh, colors and a little printout of a logo from my favorite football team and put that uh, on so I have both the colors and the logo and then that creates a great little gift for the football fan. To get the logo, I just Googled the name of my team and then I was able to copy it and size it on my computer from there. And this gift comes in at about $2. This larger football fan gift starts with a plastic basket and brown shred from the Dollar Tree, to which I added some football crackers that I got from Walmart, and then some of this um, IBC root beer, also from Walmart. But of course, you can add a different kind of beer if you like. And then two of these hickory smoked almonds from the Dollar Tree. And then I have two different cheese options. I'm going to show you the Cracker Barrel first. Um, and then I pair that with some pepperoni. Um, but the Cracker Barrel is, of course, fresh. So this can't be put in. Uh, if you wanted to package it early and keep it you know, ready to go, you would need to use something like Easy Cheese that doesn't need to be refrigerated. But if you did want it to use something like Cracker Barrel, you would just either have to refrigerate the gift basket or uh, just add that later. And then we have something for the wing lover. So I'm gonna start with this little plastic bin from the Dollar Tree. And instead of using shred this time, I'm gonna go little Texas Roadhouse and use shelled peanuts for the filler. 
It makes a great filler and you can eat it too. First, I'm going to add a bottle of the Frank's Red Hot Hot Buffalo Sauce. And then the other bottle is going to be the Frank's Regular Buffalo Sauce. So two different flavors of the buffalo sauce. And then um, in addition to that, I'm going to add some of the Hidden Valley Ranch Dip. And then for that space right below, I'm going to just uh, get a small bag of those pretzel nuggets again and just kind of stick it in there. And then you can just add your team logo to the top. And that makes it a great gift for the wings and sports lover. If we're having wings, then we might as well have some pizza too. So um, I'm going to make a little pizza gift set using the pizza crust here as the holder. So uh, I got this Mama Mary's pizza crust from Walmart and I'm going to just take back the edges here so that it just has the round shape on the front. So each of the four edges uh, corners on the back I'm going to just tape them down. Then I'll flip it back over again and I'm going to grab this Contadina uh, squeeze pizza sauce and again apply it with some double sided tape to hold it in place and then uh, some of this Kraft mozzarella uh, which again will need to be refrigerated, and the Hormel pepperoni. And this gift set comes in at about $10. Last is a little movie night gift set, which had um, popcorn that I put in uh, these little cone bags that I got from Walmart for $1.98 for a pack of 20. And then I just placed some popcorn in the bag, uh, tied it with some ribbon, and then put the popcorn in the little uh, popcorn containers. You get two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Then I took a couple boxes of the Dollar Tree movie candy and uh, double-sided taped those two boxes together and then added those to the back of my popcorn container. And then that left just enough space for me to place this uh, pack of M&Ms that I purchased at Walmart for 74 cents. And this makes a great little gift for about $4. Well, I hope you have enjoyed these 12 additional Dollar Tree and Walmart DIY gift sets aiming to take a more masculine appeal. And I hope you have found some ideas and inspiration for your holiday gift giving this season. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to give a thumbs up and please share with any family and friends you think would also enjoy this video. If you plan on making any of these gift sets or if you have a favorite or have a question or a suggestion for me, please leave me a comment below. If you are not already a subscriber and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. If you would like to see some additional gift set ideas or check out those 10 pro secrets, I will link the original video in the description box below if you have not already seen it, as well as links to several other gift idea videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.